how. First of all, I'll show you how to solder a ring together, basically. Um, I've got a little strip of silver here. I've just started to bend it round. Um, what I'm going to do is buff these outsides of the joints here. Turn it around. Also, I'm going to buff. You can use a buff stick or you can even use a file. Uh, and just clean the insides as well, right next to the joint. And now I'm just going to bend this round to get the, the joint together. And remember the joints have to be perfectly aligned surface and across the top. If you're unsure if there are some slight gaps, you can get your piercing saw and just run through the joint. Do it this way, I think. Just to make sure that those surfaces line up and that takes off any high spots on the piece. Now as we've sawed through as well, you're going to be sure that that joint now inside there is perfectly clean. I haven't touched it. We'll align this a little bit better than what it is. And that now is a nice tight join. There is no daylight through it. I get a small little piece of emery paper just to make sure that surface is nice and clean. The ring isn't quite round, but that doesn't really matter because we can tap that round once it's been soldered. Now, on this job I've only got one joint, so I'm going to use some easy solder. An easy silver solder, and make sure it is silver solder, if you're using silver, comes in strips like this. Um, and normally it's quite thick, um, and what we need to do is cut little uh, pieces off, they call pallions off, with a pair of shears. Now, this is quite thick and sometimes it is awkward trying to cut it, so what I'm going to do is get a... Um, a little a small little hammer and I'm going to flatten the end of this so this solder is a lot lot thinner than what it is now. And once it is thinner it's easier to cut. Also because now we've actually dirtied the solder buff it with a piece of emery paper to make sure that's nice and clean. And then we get our shears and just cut off a few little pallions. And there's a little trick when it comes to cutting the little pallions off. If we try and stick them like this, the pieces just fly off. So what we do is normally just cut with the shears a couple of times into the end of the piece, like a fringe, and then keep our index finger over the end here. And as we cut, I keep the bottom of the shears on my index finger, and as we cut, like that, Trapped between there and there now are the two pieces of solder. That stops them flying off. So we'll keep those little pieces together. In fact, I'll do a little bit more, as a little bit bigger joints we're going to be using. So we have the solder ready. We'll mix up our borax. Use our paintbrush then. As you can see, it's, it, it's just like a cream consistency. And we'll paint that onto the job. I paint that on the outside and on the underneath of the job as well and due to capillary action the flux will be taken into the joint and then I'm using the paintbrush uh, put the solder upon the top of the joint like that We'll light up our torch. And the advantage with this type of torch is that I can control the heat. And also what you want to make sure of is the fact that if you have the light above you, turn it off. You can see the colour of the metal a lot easier and you'll know then roughly when the joint is going to be uh, hot enough for the solder to flow. 
I will ever so gently heat up this, as you can see what happened then. The borax bubbles up because the water gets hot and evaporates. And I'll just reposition that solder on the top. You can see the borax now starting to become white. Now that will protect the joint as I'm heating it up. I'll heat the back of the ring up as well in this case to make sure that the piece is an even temperature. And now the flux has turned into like virtually like a liquid glass. And as you keep heating up, you can just see the colour of the metal starting to change and the solder immediately flows downwards into that joint. It becomes almost like a silver streak. Now, I'll turn the ring over and I'll have a look on the inside as well. And I can see that that silver now has flowed through the joint. Solder will always flow towards the heat as well. So if it heats one side of the joint and not the other, the solder will not flow across the joint. Solder loves the heat and will always flow towards the hottest part. If the solder hadn't come through, well then I'd heat the inside of the ring like this just to pull the solder through onto the inside just to make a lovely joint. Now the flux has done its job, you have to get the flux off. And we can do that by quenching in acid. It can either be sulfuric acid, a 10% solution, or I use safety pickle so there's no acid in it at all. And I'll just simply drop that into the acid. Into the water. Pop my light back on. And that now is the perfect solder joint. Yes, we do have some of the flux left upon the piece itself, um, but that can be filed off and buffed off. And there we have a perfect solder joint.